I know that every podcast in the world is talking about it. Um, but something that I'm excited to see kind of, you know, uh, evolve in 2023 is AI. Um, you know, I've been paying a lot of attention to OpenAI, uh, the company, and ChatGPT, uh, playing around with it. I'm pretty impressed by it. Um, but I just wanted to ask you your, uh, you know, experience, how you you found it, and then also, yeah, where you will see some, you know, kind of uh, cool things uh, happen in 2023 in that world. Does anyone want to, you know, kind of tell me a little bit about what you've been toying around with? Let's start with the AI. Uh, I think it's the one that is going to be the most impactful this year because of every single thing that is going on with it. It's, it's not only ChatGPT. You can also find a lot of promised extensions or VS Code extensions or applications that allows you to do awesome things uh, like writing bash commands or CLI commands by just typing the description of what you want to do, like add a comment to Git, and then it just prints the, the command that you want to or you have to run in order to make it happen and in fact for gpt that is the one that it has the like the most popular definitely is something that it's going to improve as we use it and it's going to be a really nice tool for us developers and for everyone in general in the future there, there is a lot to do yet where yeah. we're actually reliable in a production environment yeah i have i've noticed i've only played around with it a little bit but um the github copilot like within vs code and things like that is pretty good it's 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 definitely helpful um so I, i've enjoyed that but yeah it definitely has a long way to go um but i mean you kind of already see that happening with the model that exists now is like helping train the next model that will be released as part of open ai so you know it's going to have a ton more uh, data once that drops, which is something why I put it on this list is I'm expecting that that next huge milestone uh, release from OpenAI is going to, you know, we're already playing around with it and saying, wow, I think once we see that, we're going to be really yeah. saying, wow. I've been playing with it and I really love to play it on the human side of things. So given the ChatGPT like moral dilemmas, uh, deciding <laughs> in the dark decision of who we would kill, one person or five people, and something like that. And the interesting that why made ChatGPT stand out is actually the human touch, because there's a lot of things going behind the curtains, and it's live human um, reviewing the answers of ChatGPT. Yeah. Because previous versions of different, I don't know their names, they would become a really racist. Is it because I'm black? That was the case. Was I don't remember the chat name, but they became really racist, or really like uh, killing all the people. Decided that that would be the best uh, <laughs> uh, way of things. Human beings are a disease, a cancer of this planet. You are a plague. So it is really interesting how, in the end we still need a human to analyze if it's the correct one. And interesting enough, throughout the, the weeks, some answers changed. And for example, right now, if I'm given the dilemma, the chat GPT would answer, I'm an AI and I have no moral rights to answer this question. If you want to get answers to those questions, uh, you can always go Please to bro. open AI playground, which is like, oh yeah, it's like, it's open, you, you kind free, of, yeah. yeah, it's uncensored stuff. Yeah. And that's uh, that's very interesting, but I mean, it's it's less accurate. I I'm not sure about that, but it's it's different. What? I'm also very excited for that upcoming GPT-4, right? Which yeah. goes from 175 billion parameters to like 100 trillion, which it doesn't sound like much, but it's 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 huge. I've even heard people talking about you know a prompt engineer being yeah a the new profession, role, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which I mean, when you when you when you realize how like like you're saying, Mario, how different you can get by just kind of tweaking these. Um, you know, you go from interesting to crazy accurate just by tweaking your prompts, um, and that's when you start to see, I think, the value of you know what what it could potentially be. I think there's going to be so many kind of side businesses that are just kind of helping people sort of navigate through this world of AI and like and right, um, you know, I think people will train models that are really good at one thing. As long as there's no conscience, we're good. <laughs> Oops. 
deleted. Venice will be or Wally or Matrix. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Matrix better battery. Actually, there, there is a good example of that. There is um something that has been a while in there, like it, it is WordPress, where you can build web applications by just moving visuals. You, you just right. li literally crap something that is visual, like a, a banner, a slider, a, anything, a hero, whatever. And then you put it wherever you want it to be. It is so intuitive, it is so easy. But that doesn't guarantee that you're going to get a, a great web page just because it is easy. And that's the best example for that because, uh, yeah, it is making things easier uh, for people that are not familiar with how to code or how to create web applications using mm -hmm. a standard uh, programming language. But definitely it will come with its own drawbacks and things to learn and its own challenges. There will be uh, people that will be like dedicated to that, to learning how to outcome those challenges and how to uh, improve their skills on that matter. And I wish I could remember where I heard this quote. I heard it recently. Someone was saying, you know, it's not AI that will take your jobs. It's folks that know how to use AI uh, exactly. that are better, better positioned to, uh, you know, to, to be more of the threat if you're looking at it that way. It's probably healthier to not look at it so much as a threat and more of how can I learn this tool? How can I uh, take advantage of this technology to kind of improve my day to day? I think oh, yeah. in the end it is the important, the humanity side of things. And as long as the big fish in the industry think of it as a tool to help, for example, in healthcare, to help to diagnose, to see something that the human eye and uh, the capacity of our fast thinking is not fast enough and not to develop something to destroy, I think we're in a good yeah. path. I was going to mention something similar about the humanity of things, where there is a Chrome extension over there where you can actually give access to your Gmail information, and they will uh, uh, like answer the, an email based on the on the input that you're getting from from an, uh, an incoming email, and then mm -hmm. it will be like emails, you know, AI answering another AI email. Yeah, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> AI communicating to itself. And where is the humanity of that? Where is the, the right. human touch on that? Yeah. We have to be careful about the privacy because you're basically giving the AI access to every single email that you have. Yep. Which, yeah. well, it's your privacy. If you're okay with that, that's fine. But I think we, we should be careful with that as well. So my final thought, uh, Annie, you, you mentioned uh, kind of healthcare, which made me think of something I saw was really interesting was that there's a company doing, um, looking at, for dentists, looking at a patient's like history of x-rays. Um, and they're actually able to detect stuff uh, earlier than even the, you know, the, the human eye can, even the most kind of skilled uh, dentist. They can say there's something going on here based on the last, you know, whatever, five years of, um, the, you know, our technology uh, detected something going on. Um, and so that's just like a net positive for everyone. So I think those are the, the things to, uh, to, you know, to, to be excited about, to be, uh, to be, you know, looking forward to.